hi lovelies welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is violet so today we're going to do a sit down video and i'm going to share um, um the struggles the things i've gone through to get to where i am right now there's a whole year of my life when i moved out that you guys don't know about so stay tuned and watch to the end so um i've just done with my face a uh, routine these are <laughs> just done doing my face routine I've, I've applied a remis to my lips and yeah i'm taking tea before i leave i want to go and buy some good stuff sit down and share um a little story of my life with you guys i was just thinking about it yesterday and i was like you know that's something i've never shared with you guys you guys knew me after i moved to my second bed sitter my second house so when i moved out from my parent house i was raised by a single mom and um yeah i had to move out because of family issues i don't think i'm ready to talk about that right now but maybe in the future i will talk about it so when i moved out you guys i wasn't ready to move out but uh, i a friend of mine told me where she lives there's a house i can come and look at it i was planning to move but not at that time and i went and i loved the house i loved that house a lot like it was a bed sitter but it was made nicely they tell you it was like outside at the corner my toilet was just like outside my balcony i was just living it was just somewhere up i was just living there alone so it was very nice i asked for the price they told me it's nine thousand and was like well, that's a lot but yeah it's fine <laughs> let me pay for it and just you know i just decided to pay for it and i started life i paid for the house i didn't have uh, a bed a mattress i didn't have utensils so there's this um friend that was selling her bed her mattress so i bought it i bought them so <laughs> my bed was second hand my mattress was second hand and then I had few utensils, I didn't have gas, I didn't have stove. So my mom gave me her jiko. And you guys know how hard it is to wash her jiko. Even right now, I have it. But when I want to boil something, I end up boiling something kwa gas because I don't want to wash her jiko, you know. So uh, I just took it, but um, I think... I only used it on weekends because on weekends I had all the time in the world but during the week I was busy I wake up very early I go to work I come home tired and late uh, I suffered you guys I suffered like I'd go to work in the morning I'd take coffee in the office and then uh, when I'm about to go home, I'll buy Fanta and two mandazi, sometimes cook, I'll take and that's it, I'll go home and sleep. And uh, yeah, there's this place I used to pass by in the evening, I'll buy Mazoya Kupima 30 Bob, so that I'll take um, at night and sleep. Or maybe I'll go with it to the office, boil and take in the morning. So yeah, it continued like that, you guys remember um this house is nine thousand i've paid nine thousand and i've also paid deposit that's eighteen thousand and you guys know when you're living with family it's very hard for you to save because most of the time yeah i used to have trauma but most of the time my money uh i'd buy something for my mom so i used to spend my money you guys know when you're living with family every time they look up to you so it's very hard for you to save so um 
I didn't have money after moving out. I paid for rent. And now, life has started. So, I need to survive. I suffered in that house, you guys. Uh, all the savings I had, I bought a uh, mattress and uh, that bed, second-hand things. So, those are the only things I had. But I was like, you know, I have that peace of mind in my own house. It's fine. God knows. I continued. So, uh, that place I used to buy milk every single day. You know, we, uh, it was just a nice guy. He, uh, he was kind. And sometimes I'll go there to buy milk to a bigger story. And then I take my milk and go. So, you know, like, uh, we became friends. And when you consider people to be your friends, you share with them about, you know, yeah, we were just like talking and then I told him, yeah, I've started life, I even don't have, uh, the reason why I buy milk every single day is because of maybe I go drink and sleep, I don't have a stove, you know, it's just like shared with him because now he's my friend and I was like, you know, God is going to open doors, I buy uh, a gas. And then he was like, really? Oh my God, you should have told me, Ali, I have uh, Imeko. Hmm? that is here that i never use uh it was just in the shop so you can take it into the jersey and then you use it until you buy yours and i was like really thank you so much i was so happy i was like oh my god this is really nice it means i'll be waking up very early in the morning and make tea take tea before work i'll be coming home and cook some ugali for myself so i was so happy now when uh, i took the gas um you know, we became close friends i can invite him over when i cook but uh, pass by eat and go it's okay so yeah it continued like that until it became like this is too much uh i wake up very early and go to work so i sleep early i don't have tv so um i didn't have internet i didn't have um netflix like right now you you will watch netflix from your phone so every time i am done eating i go straight to bed and sleep because i'm waking up very early in the morning so every time he calls he wants to come wants to come i'm like i i'm getting tired because i'm sleeping late and i'm waking up very early in the morning but uh it turned into something I didn't like because now he's texting me. He's texting me all the time. He's calling me all the time. Uh, and uh, he confessed about his feelings. Um, I like you, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, I like you too, but as a friend, but not as a boyfriend. Um, uh, at that time, I didn't want to date. So I was just like, you know, I want to focus on my life. I've studied life. So my main focus was my life. So I told him point blank, no, no, no. Let's just continue being friends and uh, wish others all the best. Right now, I don't want to date and I like you as a friend. But you know how it goes. When you tell someone let's continue being friends and not date they get mad at you so i didn't know he was mad at me um i go there to buy milk me continue to go there and buy milk he'll have all this attitude and i was like okay fine so after i think three to four days um he texts me and tells me um the owner of the gas is back and uh, he wants his gas back i didn't even tell him i remember you telling me this is your gas that you never use it's just there at the shop okay i just replied and said fine it's fine when i come home in the evening because i remember i was at work and i come home in the evening i return your gas <clears throat> that was embarrassing I felt bad. I gas. What do you call gas? But let let me uh, give him his gas back. He has helped me 
for the past i think two weeks or three weeks i've been using his gas so it's okay i take it and uh yeah, that was embarrassing you guys after he took his gas i went back to zero to eating mandazi and soda i suffered for a few months before i went and uh, bought his uh, gas stove the one with two banner yeah i bought that one and then gas cylinder was very expensive i think for you to buy one you needed like around eight thousand uh, kenyan shillings so i had to save for that one too uh which took a long time but i was not like giving up for me it was um buying something once and for all so i was alone i didn't have a kid who will be like you know i can sleep hungry and the neighbors will not even know i've slept hungry but if you have a kid is where the problem is you have to do do that thing to make sure that kid eats so i was alone uh, it wasn't a big deal so yeah um chama i can pay a pesa i remember mm -hmm. i went and bought gas cylinder and i was so happy i was happy you guys i was so happy 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 and then yeah i bought a gas cylinder and then i paid for a deposit of my first tv so it was just like hmm, this is really nice so the next time i'm getting chama i'm also going to uh, bring the tv and buy something else so i was just struggling struggling but at least i am eating i am sacrificing i never used to like go do shopping like right now i can go and shop for food stuff i used to buy kama ni unga ugali moja na ikachoa po then i will buy like skuma wiki i used to eat greens you guys hmm can you say i am eating meat i am eating chicken i am eating fish let me eat in peace because i have suffered i have suffered so yeah i've suffered even growing up life was not easy when i was growing up by the way it was very hard i used to go to bed hungry i used to go all day without eating and also go to bed without eating so same kinona nakula let me eat i've been through a lot growing up so right now i am telling my 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 body sorry for all that suffering you gone through so yeah my life uh took a turn and uh yeah i bought uh before i moved from that bed sitter i bought a i brought i bought a tv i bought a tv, a TV stand the one with two shelves you guys know that one that was about 2000 uh, and something and then i bought my two sitter and then after my two sitter my my, my two sitter uh i bought it at i think six, seventeen thousand kenyan shillings i had food made it for me uh back then that two sitter you know from the previous uh, bed sitter yeah that one and then i bought a fridge i remember my fridge i bought it at uh, nakumach mega welcome sales the kufunga supermarket so they were selling at a very affordable price and i was like you know i want this one at a company loan i'm going to take a loan from my boss and when i get my chama i pay that loan so that's what, exactly what i did i bought my fridge and yeah, what else did i buy before i moved because the cooker i bought from that uh previous bed sitter you guys know so yeah that was just um a bad experience that one year was a hard year for me but i managed and i pushed and i was just like looking back the other day and i was like yeah it's been it's almost six years or is it six years it's almost no it's six years since i moved out it's six years and i'm still going strong and god opened doors hmm? so embarrassing i felt so little but in the end god came through and look at me right now so yeah i thank god for this far i thank god uh i've managed 
uh, to get to where I am right now from a bit sitter and now I'm living in a, an apartment so that's really nice you know like um most of the time when you're starting life you're always scared what if I have to go back to my parents house you know things like those yeah I was scared just like everyone else and I was like yeah I'll just go back home but thank god I could and I am praying is in Ishinda Ukumbelinaenda, you know. So we keep pushing. Um watch my videos if you want to move out, get inspired, move out today, and trust me, God will open doors. You know, when you're living with your parents, you depend on them, you don't care how rent is paid, you don't care how food is um brought in the house you know you don't care everything happens electricity bill is paid water is paid rent is paid food is there for you to eat the same way they are struggling to do all that is the same way god is going to open doors for you and for you to also do that for yourself you know so yeah i think uh that's story of my life uh, was something i need to share with you guys and i'm happy that i've shared with you guys it's time i head out and go i was taking tea at a before if you've watched until this far thank you so much for the love and support and don't forget to subscribe to this channel watch my videos and get inspired also make sure you leave me a comment down below and i'll see you on our next one bye